Awesome. So let's extract a little bit more information from our dates. So um, just want to show you what we have right now when it comes to the pickup date. So this is our pickup date. Uh, I'll actually show you everything. That makes more sense. So this is what I have, right? It is this guy. It's apparently daytime now. It's not a string. So what, what happens when it's daytime is basically I can compare it for, with each other. So the Python knows that this date happened before this one. So this is an instance that, instance that happened 13 minutes before this one so that we're able to compare them you know otherwise when they're just strings you can't really compare them it just sees them as two different objects just knows that they're different from each other doesn't know the relationship between them so that's why i have it as daytime what i'm doing here is i'm creating one two three four five different new features and what they are is basically the first one is going to be a date so this is daytime it includes a date and the time but i just want the date so what i do is basically i write this line and it creates one that is only date i do the same with year month day and hour because i want to have these information separately it's very hard to feed them into the model when it's a date time one so that's why i separate this information into different columns and um, we'll see how it looks now so this is my pickup date time and all the way at the end I have the transaction date, transaction year, transaction month, transaction day, and transaction hour. So I mean, minute is very like, you know, it's a bit the information we don't really need. So I'm going to stop at hour. Um, but so looking at this really closely, there is something that bothers me. It's that I am supposed to be working a transaction year 2019 only. Also, it should be the January of 2019. That's how I downloaded this data. But turns out I have some 2018 data points, even all the way from November. So I want to look a bit more closely to what's happening here. So as I said, you know, cleaning never ends. You realize things like this and then you're like, wait a minute, something's wrong here and I'm going to fix this now. Um, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. It's normal that the transaction day is like, you know, like this. Some days you have more people, some days, I guess maybe this is like a weekend, people are writing more. Transaction hour makes sense, you know, in the middle of the night, not many taxi trips, but then during the day, there are more trips. But, so as I said, even if you can't really see anything here in the histogram, if this number is here, it means that there are values that have this value. There are data points that have this value. So, but what I want is only to have one, so January. Same with year. I, I don't, what? 2080? <laughs> this is definitely something that I don't want. So what I'm going to do here quickly is to filter the data so that it only has the data points that happen in 2019 and on January. So I'm just going to do it here. You know, you don't have to go all the way back and to the data cleaning section and have it there. It doesn't have to be very strict, you know? This is fine. You can just uh, make sure that you take a note here. You can write down, uh, I did this because, you know. So uh, yeah, as long as you have everything in a structured way, you don't have to make sure that every data cleaning is inside the data cleaning section. Um, this is fine. Uh, yeah, so from now on, our next goal is to prepare the data for the model that we're going to uh, train. So the, the model that we're going to train here is going to be a benchmark model. I'll, I'm going to talk about that in more detail uh, also soon. But what we want to do for our um, preparing the data for the model is first come up with a problem definition so we understand what kind of data that we need. And we're going to do that in the next video.